Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I am going to show you how to get rid of the annoying iBus messages you get in the bottom right hand corner when you're using the KDE version of Debian 13 Trixie with Wayland. That's quite specific, you might think. But um, to show you the issue, I've taken a series of screenshots here. So we're going to take this one here. And you can see the very first message you get is this iBus should be called from the desktop session in Wayland. For KDE, you can go to system settings and go to input devices. Now, earlier on in the week, I said that my keyboard wasn't behaving properly and that it was pressing the wrong keys for the wrong keyboard layout. And so the thing I t told you to do with that is if you go into here and you go to keyboard and virtual keyboard, I think I said to use the FCITX. Don't do that. Use the iBus Wayland instead. So click in the iBus Wayland gets rid of that iBus message, okay? Uh, you have to reboot um, for it to take effect. That's not the end of the story. I'm gonna show you the next part of the issue. And uh, so the next part is you then get all these messages, uh, this det uh, detect GTK IM module and QT IM module being set and Wayland input method front end is working. Now the reason for that, when you go to your system settings, you've got this keyboard layout here and you've also got this input method down here and that's got something running against it as well. So that appears to be setting those variables and causing that message to appear here. So how did I get around that? Well, I then opened up a terminal window and I ran that command there. I'll run it again now. Um, it won't do anything because I haven't got anything installed. And that's all I had to do. And then when I rebooted, I no longer get the iBus messages. I've st still got my keyboard layout selected down here and uh, everything appears to be working okay. So you haven't got this iBusing. Ignore that, don't worry about that. Everything you need is in this keyboard layout here. And that's one way to get around the problem. The other way you can um, solve this issue is not to use Wayland at all. You can use the X11 session. And if you use X11, you get none of these problems. But hopefully this will help some people. Um, the other thing you could do is, of course, just ignore the message and just click the OK button every time it pops up. Or when it says don't show again, you can click the don't show again. But I found that even when you pressed don't show again, it would show again. So hopefully this will solve the problem for you. It solved it for me. Uh, if it did, click the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.